Right there, guys. Brand new from the Minnesota Muskie Show this year from Haymaker Lures. And Justin calls this his 6-inch wake bait. I'm sure it's going to need a little bit sexier name than that. This thing looks absolutely amazing. And let's have a quick look at it underwater, and we'll be right back. So interesting this year when Dave and I went down to Minnesota, we always see a couple cool things. This year there was actually some different baits there, and you're going to see some new stuff from a few other builders. But right now I just want to talk about the stuff from Haymaker. And we actually got a couple different baits, but today I'm only going to show you his wake bait because we actually got it in the water, which you obviously obviously seen. But I want to thank our buddy uh, JVR, Jeff Van Remortal. We were talking to him at the Lax booth, and he's like, hey, you guys got to check out the baits from Justin. His Haymaker stuff's really cool. New bait builder. He's been doing it quite a long time for himself, and his buddies kind of convinced him to finally put it out there. The paintwork is, is definitely on point. The build is on point. Everything looks good, and it's obviously a hog wobbler style bait, <clears throat> but it, it's really unique and it it's almost like a throwback to an earlier time like a simpler lure but it has such cool action in the water i was really surprised it actually does more than i was expecting so let's go and have a quick chat with justin and i'll just forewarn you guys it's a bit noisy because we are inside of the expo and hopefully next year we'll uh, do something better with our mics and try and get you guys some cleaner audio. But we just felt that we'll try and give you guys what we can because we actually talked to the builder about his baits and about what he sees in them. So let's go talk to Justin. We'll come back and let's go look at this thing underwater one more time. Hey guys, I'm here with Justin from Haymaker Lures and newer bait builder. for show? First show ever. For show ever and got a couple cool baits that we want to try out and one is kind of a hog wobbler style so tell us what's unique about this bait so we got the six inch wobbler style here uh, unique about this is uh, the frequency of the wobble so uh, traditional wobbler style has been more of a slow very slow retreat uh, wanted to get more of a medium retrieve out of this, so uh, reduce the frequency a little bit. I wanted to fish profile uh, versus brown bait uh, profile. Uh, so you can pull her through the water a little faster, fish her a little faster, and kind of a, so while, while doing that, a uh, little side effect that came out of it, which I think triggers fish a little better, uh, there's a little uh, slurping action from the tail um, uh, when you're pulling it through the water at that medium pace. Uh, metal lip to it so we're not going to break it off on any rocks or anything like that but get her a little too close to shore uh, yeah uh, built tough as nails you have uh, cedar um, coated in epoxy littered and i do my paint job and then some more coats and uh, finish epoxy all right one other thing you're telling us that if it pulls to one side or the other. How do yep. we tune this? Yep. So if it pulls, if it starts going off to one side or, or the other, so say it's going off to the left here, you take this and you just very slightly bend the side that it's pulling to forward a little bit, and the other side back just a little bit, and she tunes right up straight so. All right. And one other question with this: What leader do you recommend? And do you recommend a snap or just split ring connection? Um, snap works just fine. I use 80 pound fluorocarbon, uh, 12 inch liter, and that's worked uh, great for me. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so this is a top water from Haymaker Lures, and we run into them at the Minnesota show last winter. We picked up this, and we'll have a dive and rise later this year, but again, this is that classic take on a hog wobbler. Got a little blade on the back, like some of the hog wobblers. So, again, nine foot shock and awe. Uh, 471 so 7.1 to 1 reel 90 pound barbarian braid 49 strand leader in all likelihood in the season I'll run this on a solid wire leader and straight to a split ring but for the sake of the video we got a snap on there and in most cases for top water I would probably use like an 8 foot rod but because we don't have a lot of water depth here we're trying to cast out that's why we're using this so again, classic, very slow retrieve. Think flap tail, hog wobbler, creeper. 
And like a lot of this style of baits, you want to have your rod pointed directly at the bait. Maybe slightly to whatever side is your strong hook set side. And with this style of bait, there really is no such thing as too slow of a retrieve. Again, that's haymaker lures. So there you guys, you can see Justin was great. He was a little bit nervous to talk to us. His uh, his wife was sitting there and she was kind of chuckling because he was probably thrown under the bus a little bit when we asked if he would talk on camera, but he did great. And like I say, we have another one of his really cool baits. And once we get some warmer water temps where we can get in the water and do a little bit more footage for you guys, we'll kind of unveil that one. But I really thought it was cool to get this one in the water recently. I really like the action on it. It's one that I think is going to be in our tackle box, you know, right at the start of the year. And it's one that I think fits our style of fishing. And going back to the video I did, you know, a few days ago where not every lure fits us. This is one, as soon as I seen it, I'm like, I'm going to use that. I can see where this is going to fit my style of fishing it looks great in the water. It's got a lot of cool action. I love this color. The paint looks good. The contrast on it looks good. Overall, I'm really impressed with it, you know, right out of the gate. This was such a cool find for us. And again, thanks to JVR for kind of tuning him into our radar. And we walked right over and talked to Justin. He was great. And I just want to disclose that, yeah, Justin did give us a couple lures to try out and try and get some underwater footage to show you guys. So I want to thank him and his wife for that. And like I say, this one's going to be in the rotation right off the get-go. I just, I feel highly about this lure and the fact that we will use it and it'll fit, you know, where we want to fish it. But it, it's just, it's not always that you find a lure straight out of the box that can do something special. There's been a couple for us and I only have to look to last year. Check out the video right here where we started the season in 23 and I was throwing the SRJ from Pandemonium. And as soon as we seen it in the water, we knew that was going to be a great lure for us. And it, it proved that it was. And until next time, this one's all about the Haymaker 6-inch wake bait. And for now, 54 buses out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.